Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the fifth episode of the second season of Hanafuda. And last episode, luckily, we were able to finally rescue our damsel in distress, and you know, sort of mild distress. And that's that, that's all good. But then we had Gerald kind of making a move on Katarina, and that's that's uh, I don't think anybody really appreciated that. Like as usual, he feels like he's entitled to Katarina because he's technically her fiance. But uh, just no, that's not how it works not not it's not how it works so uh we'll see we'll see how everyone else responds to that because because i don't think a lot of people I, I'm, I'm willing to go out on a limb and assume most people in that room was was not happy about what just happened there so uh it'll be interesting to see kind of what comes of this if there'll be any kind of uproar or if anyone takes any drastic actions or or something so i, I imagine something will happen so and the, the way the first frame is i assume we're also going to repeat the action unfortunately but so oh well so let's jump into it so uh three two one play <sighs> yeah katrina no idea what's about to happen <laughs> what a nightmare <laughs> if only that was just a dream although i'm pretty sure it wasn't i really don't think it is I'd be okay with that if they if they did pull that, but I'm afraid it's not. So I guess we're not gonna like directly continue the scene. So if that's the case, then yeah, we kind of skip any potential uproar. <laughs> Lovely, just randomly break out the instruments. The face palming still gives me a life. <laughs> really is a great opening. I feel like I like it more every time I watch it. Oh, so if you see like a doll or something on that bookshelf, is that like important at all? Also, is a teddy bear important? <laughs> I guess it was kind of foreshadowed there. <laughs> love, love for the younger brothers poured forth. It's a bit of a mouthful of a title. <laughs> we need to guard you. <laughs> it's very important to guard you, as we've established recently. <laughs> we we definitely need to guard you. We're all on the same page here, except for her. No disagreements. <laughs> Your harem slash personal bodyguard. No, you're just, you need, if anyone needs overprotection, it's you. It's not really over because it's you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we get to see under the disguise. So yeah, that's who I figured it was. I wasn't sure, but yeah, that's who my guess would have been. Jeffrey faction.
It's pretty messed up, isn't it? <laughs> Not that you seem too bothered, but... Also, you just left his clothes on the floor. Because it's such a nice room, it stands out so much. Seriously, learn to pick it up for yourself, lady. Uh, <laughs> uh, um... Uh, I... I wasn't quite expecting that one. I mean, the title, I guess, kind of implied that, but... But wow. Wow. <laughs> I mean, there's some nice pictures here, but... <laughs> I, I bet... <laughs> <laughs> they are adorable. I, I will acknowledge that. Uh, really? Are they won't break? <laughs> oh, you got your finger. I think so. I got on each hand's finger and I'm not giving it back. <laughs> Nope, I'm good over here. <laughs> okay, that's when it was declared. The baby picture is probably the best one up there. Don't you hate it when that happens? I really complicated, messy stuff. Oh my god, are those stacks of paper? Wow, that was like to the roof. What the heck? <laughs> I know, I was just talking about that. Oh no. Like, the stack is, like, higher than the camera goes. I kind of want to, like, knock over the stack. Especially because you'd have to pick it up. Since you were babies. Well, you found me. Am I not allowed to leave my room? Uh... But I don't want to. <laughs> like, I want to be given a rose. <laughs> this one. <while. laughs> I demand head pads, girls. <laughs> you said it was a good boy. I better get my head pads. I'd give him a head pat if I was there. <laughs> Bit of ominous scenery. Uh. <laughs> Why are you so slow? More flowers. That's your first mistake, getting your hopes up. As you get older, you learn to stop doing that. Apparently, he learns that lesson young.
I don't think so. <laughs> You're kind of a hard one to conversate with. I'm desperately looking for something to talk about. Well... Want to spend time with your brother, you just get rejected like that? It's got to sting a little bit. <laughs> and that's when our protagonist showed up. Mentally, they found plenty of issues. <laughs> right. Like I said, pretty similar to the Mary Ballin one. It's just that he ended up liking her at some point. Which is the problem. I really do miss the early episodes, episodes of season one, Little Katarina. Those are good times. Uh... <laughs> Wait up for me, guys. <laughs> I suppose. Just rock him out of home. <laughs> I have no control over it. I think things, they just kind of come out. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Katarina really is a beacon that improves everyone's lives. Probably. <laughs> Maybe a radish. It's a start. Improvement's improvement. Jeffrey does look a lot like Alan. It's kind of hard to tell him apart, especially flashbacks. I hear heavy breathing. I actually thought that was a girl's voice at first. <sighs> Play nice, you two birds. <laughs> well, screw you too. I really don't think it works works that way. Ah, that is so messed up. After that, yeah, I think an inferiority complex is kind of to be expected.
Yeah, it probably didn't help anything. Hmm. At this point, he's in headpats. Jeffrey. Yeah, look how similar they look. I mean, even like the eye color, I think, is the same. Is your brother's? <laughs> Just trying to be friendly. No need to be aggressive, but no, yeah, I get it. <sighs> okay, yeah, we're really just getting a lot of backstory stuff this episode. <laughs> Don't let it go. <laughs> How many small children does it take to get a fish? Apparently more than two. <laughs> oh yeah, the stupid fake snake. Yeah, as if you would ever let me forget. Because you may lack self-awareness that you like Katarina, but other people pick up on that. Oh. Jeffrey Nissan. Oh, here we go. Now we get head pats. <laughs> sort of. Very aggressive head pat, but. I kind of forgot about this stupidly tall stack of papers. It's good to hear. Brother knows. I mean, more than anything, they are brothers, so... I mean, look at that wall. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, Jeffrey's trying to really grow on me. <laughs> that wall though oh god I mean both the fiancés are wonderful that is true but they're not really proper engagements Like, they're not actually going to get married, those two pairs is what I was trying to say. Most likely.
That could be a problem. As she's her eyes are not not in not in frame. Hey, Katarina, you haven't had much screen time this episode because it's a brother focused episode. Oh, God damn it, Gerald found us. Crap, our bodyguards aren't even here either. This is real bad. Yeah, let's get some uh some space between us, social distance. Like arm length, at least, at that least. That's one way to phrase it. She knows you're a threat to her now. It was not just a dream, though. That's the thing. <laughs> Maybe try to use some dark magic on her. <laughs> Does not surprise me. Yeah, it's way too close. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do the dub Our bodyguards are terrible. They had one job, and they failed miserably. Why can't we wake up from this nightmare? Yeah, but other people on the show do as well. That's the thing. Yeah, a little bit late. Could have showed up like one minute ago. It would have made a difference. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Mary not messing around. <laughs> uh, I still wish you guys showed up sooner, but better late than never. <laughs> Combined attack, let's go. And that is what we end off on. Uh, I accidentally hit a button on my headset to let me know how much charged it was. Kind of made me jump a little bit, slightly. But uh, what good is it having bodyguards that show up late? Two kisses and two episodes is way too much. Maybe we could put some kind of spell on her to put a stop to all this premarital kissing. Is there a spell for that? Where it like shocks him if it gets too close? Probably not, but... Oh, there's a... Okay, Stinger. Uh, okay, real world. Um, where is this going? <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to clear that route. I, I didn't I didn't want to go on it, but that's actually interesting to end off on that. Like, cause it almost implies that we'll have something like that. Like, we'll do stuff like all the routes, maybe. Cause that would be something. Cause that would kind of make up for this if we had like similar stuff with the other characters. Like they each got some uh, some one on one time with uh, Katarina, right? Where we like finish off the route, so to speak. But uh, I don't know. That, that's what that line almost implies to me. But I always could just do wishful thinking on my part, but anyway, this episode it was uh did I even see the thing yet? That was the fifth that was the fifth episode of uh Hamefoot of season two. So this episode, it was definitely focused on the brothers, right? And there's like four of them, right? All the uh, the big old complicated 
royal family with all of its succession and all the all, there's a lot of complicated stuff that goes into it in relationships and what they have to do and they kind of got into that in this episode <laughs> like flashbacks Jeff freaking Jeffrey has like a wall of his brothers so if there's ever any doubt about him caring about his brothers I guess I guess that clears that up right I mean some of the stuff we saw in the flashbacks we already saw before because obviously the show started back then right with uh, Katarina but we got some stuff like before that so we got to see more detail. We got to get a good, uh, good feel for Jared's mental state and kind of what Katarina did for him. But also kind of we had that for Alan as well, I think. I mean, it was more on, on uh, Harold than anyone else, but I think Alan had some focus too, right? A little bit. And of course, Jeffrey. Like, Jeffrey was in a lot of these, just big old smile on his face, just... Because we even saw him with, like, the like the babies, you know, like, the, the vowing to protect them from that young age, being a, being a good big brother, which is great to see. So, yeah, it was cool to get this much characterization for a Jeffrey. But man, that wall just... I mean, I think I've seen characters have, like, secret walls and stuff with multiple pictures of the same person before. Like, I think I've seen that in anime before. But I still wasn't quite expecting it in this show, so it did catch me a little off guard, I'll, I'll be honest. Yeah, I don't really too much to say unless I want to go into like all that complicated political stuff, which I, I really don't. But I did enjoy this GNC and all the brotherly love kind of stuff. It was it was pretty sweet, a lot of that stuff. Especially like that one big old hug Jeffrey gave Ian. Like that bit, that was, that was cute. I, I, I quite enjoyed that one. But... And then we ended off with freaking Gerald over here just stealing one more kiss from our poor unsuspecting victim that thought the previous one was a dream, but at least at this point she should stop that misunderstanding. So maybe next time she will properly be able to defend herself because clearly the guards just show up too late. Like, because that was funny. We saw them with her before and I was like, okay, I guess we won't have to worry about an incident like that again anytime soon. But I was wrong, because apparently their guards, her guards suck. Although I did enjoy when they did finally show up. It was great, just like this, all the sliding in front of her, getting like literally getting magic ready. And uh, Mari saying something like, uh, or Mario saying like, uh, you don't overdo it, like keep it to the level where I can heal it or whatever, whatever she said. That was, that was great. I just, I, they really showed up late, but I still like the scene where they showed up. So almost makes up for it, but, but, uh, but not quite. But yeah, a lot of stuff, a lot of talks about the political stuff, the dark magic and the group that's using it and, and all that stuff. I mean, stuff we'll get more clarification on later, I'm sure. But uh, I think that's all I really got to say on the episode. But, uh, but yeah, hopefully we can um, shift into other routes as well. Like, because I, I don't want to, don't want it to like keep being a Gerald focused, right? Like, because that thing she's at the end, I'm pretty sure that's what that implies. Like, we've, like, conquered his route, sort of. Now we could focus on some one of the other harem members going forward. At least that was my interpretation. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know anything, really. So, that's all I got to say. So, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you click that like button, support me on Patreon, comment, you know, all that, all that stuff. But, uh, bye-bye.